Today, we're gonna to be checking out the Waylight Ninja 400 Mark II by Color Monolight, and we have it paired up with a VP65 Parabolic Softbox, which to me is the perfect companion for this Monolight. It produces a really soft, beautiful light. I've been using it for the past week. I love it so much. It's now going to replace my previous light setup as my main key light, and I'll use it in conjunction with a couple of other fill lights and backlights for most of my shots. So I'm really impressed with it and I'm gonna to talk to you about all of the features and the reasons why I love this light source in just a moment. Before we go into all those details, I'm gonna show you a couple of scenes that I shot here in my home studio. One in my main editing room, another in the lounge room and another one in the kitchen. So you can see a couple of applications of using just this single light source as a great light for YouTube videos. Let's go and take a look. For this first demonstration, I've set up the lights in my small editing suite, which is around a three to four square meter room. There's not a lot of space in here to set up equipment. I've got my Canon EOS R, which is about two meters away, and I've positioned the Waylight Ninja 400 Mark II on a tripod directly to the left and above. The light source itself is about 50 centimeters away. For this scene, I've set the Canon EOS R directly in front of me about two meters away, and I've got the Waylight Ninja 400 Mark II on a light stand about 30 centimeters just to the left of the camera. And I've got the parabolic softbox also, which provides a nice, soft, even light. In this type of environment, if I don't have any lighting at all, you can see that the foreground is completely in shadow. Now I've been able to turn the light on and off using the Waylight app. You can also use the provided remote control. You can access all of the features on either the app or remote control, including the intensity of light, and the color range. So if we have a look at the different options here, we can go from zero to about 10%, all the way up to 100% light source intensity. And we can also adjust the color slider from 2500K, which is a nice warm light, all the way up to 8500K for a cool light. But if I wanna get a faithful reproduction of daylight color, I'll usually set this to around 5600K, and that's what you're seeing right now. I'm in my kitchen, and I've just prepared a coffee to get me through the shoot, and this is what the lighting looks like using the Waylight Ninja 400 Mark II with the VP65 Parabolic Softbox. So there's just a few examples of how I've been using this light source here in my home studio. In terms of the functions and features of this monolight, first of all, we'll take a look at the actual aesthetics and quality of the build. I think it's a great looking light source with the black and green trim. It's made of a ruggedized metal and hard plastic on the edges. And all the components are really well designed and of high quality. There's actually really cool XLR style connectors that go from the light itself to the controller unit. I like the way they've separated the controller unit from the main light head and also the main power adapter as a separate unit. The benefit of that is that they're able to keep the operating noise as low as possible by removing a lot of the electrical components away from the light head. So the fan inside only has to focus on cooling down the lighting element and not all of these extra electronic components. And as a result, we get one of the quietest operating noises that I've come across on a mono light. The other thing that's really important to me when selecting an LED light source is that we have flicker-free operation. And I've tested this out on multiple shutter speeds and there's no flickering at all. I tend to shoot at 1 1 50th, but if I do sometimes go for 1 1 200, 1 300, it can often introduce flickering with alternate light sources. Yet this performs flicker-free lighting on any of the shutter speeds that I've tested. In terms of the features, it's really quite basic. We have a central dial here, which allows us to change the intensity of the light with a nice LCD display, which is visible from all angles. And we also get a large dial for adjusting the intensity of the light from zero all the way up to 100. To change the color temperature, you simply tap on the large button in the middle and rotate the dial up and down. And it goes all the way from 2800 all the way up to 8500K, and it has a color accuracy standard of CRI 95. Included with your purchase is this Waylight carry case, which is rugged and will keep your light protected when you're out in the field. You also get a reflector. If you've just purchased the light by itself without the softbox, 
you can use it with a reflector. Obviously, it's not going to be as soft and flattering a light, but you could still use it standalone with a reflector or an umbrella, for example. Now, getting on to the softbox itself, it has a 65 centimeter measurement diagonal, which is about the right size for most small studio spaces. It has two levels of softness with this outer layer. And if I open it up for just a moment, you can see there's the optional inner panel, which produces an even softer light. The Waylight Ninja 400 has a Bowens mount fitting at the front, which means that you can purchase just about any light modifier on the third party market and they'll fit in easily. You can press that green button on the top to twist and maneuver them into place and remove them when needed. So all up, I think the Waylight Ninja 400 Mark II is an incredible light and great value for money. If you want more information about the product, I'll leave a link to all of the product details and where you can purchase in the description box below. As always, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments box. If you enjoyed the video, hit me up with a like and also don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye for now.